Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Krishna Raghavendran. So in this video, we are going to, this is the tutorial 7 of MIT App Inventor. But before we start, please click the red subscribe button for more videos. So today we will learn the control blocks. So I said that in the next few tutorials, I will tell about the, these built-in blocks, control, logic, math, text, lists, dictionaries, colors, variables, procedures. So in this tutorial, we will concentrate on the control built-in blocks. So let's start. So the first block which we have is an if condition. An if condition is to do something like, for example, if I drag a button, <coughs> so here you can see a button called button 1. I can do like when button 1 click and let me put a text box here. So if text box 1.text is equal to 1, then it should do something. If it is equal to 0, then it is it should do something. For that, we need to use if conditions. So, if text box 1.text. So, this is a get block and this is a set block. So, we need to use a get block because we are going to get a value. If it is equal to So in the logic blocks, we have true, false and all of these, which we will do in the next tutorial. But we are just going to use this equal to. If it is equal to 1. Then we need, we need, so we will also learn about notifiers in this tutorial. So I have dragged a notifier from the components. So a notifier is used to show a message box to, to convey some message for the user. So now if text box one dot text equal to one, then we can give a message. We need to use this one show message dialog. The message is going to be you typed one the title is going to be let me put type and the button text is going to be okay so now if text box one dot text equal to one which means they have typed one in this text box after clicking this button then it will show you have typed one else if if it is equal to two instead of putting another if condition you can put an else if else if means that if the first condition is wrong then it will it will see the second condition so if the first condition which is this one is not correct then it will see if it is 2 if it is 2 we are going to put the message as you type 2 yes so now we know what if conditions are next is the if then else block here we can do like if text box 1 dot text equals to 1 then we will show this message else else means that if this is not true so let's put another else if here so here if text box one dot text equal to two and it should show you type two if both of these is false we will use the else conditions so here we can put else so now we know 
what is this if condition then we know if then else condition and then else if condition too so next is this for loop so this is a for loop we use for loops to do something repeatedly for example i'm going to bring a label or let it be a notifier So now I'm going to put call notifier one dot show message dialog. The message should be the number. The title should be the number, and the button check should be the number. So now what is going to happen is we need we need a button. So when button one is clicked, for each number from one to five, it will do this one. So first, when they click the button, it will be one. The number variable. This is a local variable. So this variable will be one. Then it will become two. Then again, it will become three. Like that till five, it will do the same thing. And then we will we can see the number in the notifier. Now we think that this is not useful, but this is useful. to make apps we think that we don't need these for each conditions but it is very important and in the next tutorials we are going to use many of these yes so now let's see what else is there for each item in list so we have already done a tutorial on lists so for example if i make a list If you haven't seen the list tutorial, and please see it. And before you see this tutorial, make sure you have seen the first six tutorials. Yes. So this variable name is going to be list. So first, I am creating an empty list, or let it be something like. One, two. This make a list block is used to make a list using the blocks. So we have a list in which there are items one, two, and three. So now what we are going to do is loop through the list. So when they click the button for each item in list. So here we need to put the name of the list. the name of the list is global list so for each item in list so it will check for each item so first it will check item 1 which is this one like that it will keep on doing then we are going to bring a notifier and if we do like message is going to be item let's put all these three as item so now what will happen when you test the app is that it will show a message dialog first it will show one as the message dialogs because it will check each item so the first item has one in it so we will in the message dialog we will see one because we are getting this item variable in which one is stored then after some time we will get 2 in the notifier because the item will get changed to 2 because it will see each item and then 3 and if you put all the numbers everything will come so this also we think that it is not useful to make an app but it is really useful and we will we will know the uses in the next tutorials in which we will make advanced apps yes so now let's tell it this one yes so next is this one so this is to check key and value in dictionary we will learn this block in the next tutorials because we don't know what dictionaries are next let us see this one So this is also an if then else condition. It is the same, but it just looks different. Here we need to put if 
so this one is also an if condition so let's delete this next we have open another screen screen name so this is to open another screen so we can make multiple screens in this app so by adding a screen for example screen 2 and clicking on ok a new screen will be created for this project so for example there's a button here we don't need this text box if they click the button it should go to screen 2 which is this one and this is screen 1 so for that we need to do when button 1 dot click open another screen screen name is going to be screen 2 make sure that you have put the letters capital and the spelling is correct because if you put it wrong then it will not go and you can also rename screens after you create it uh, you cannot rename but first before you for example if I add a screen here you can rename it yes so now next we are going to see open another screen with start value screen name and start value so here uh, we are going to put the screen name which is screen 2 2 and then now we will put three buttons so this is going to be button 1 let's put 1 2 and 3 yes so now what we are going to do is that when button 1 is clicked the start value is going to be 1 so what is the start value when you open the next screen which is screen 2 it will give a value it will pass this value to the screen 2 screen so that we can use the value for example if we are doing a game in which there are different levels level 1 level 2 and level 3 in in the first screen you need to choose the level here we have 1 2 3 and in the second screen it will the game will start according to your level if it is easy it is one like that we can do for that we need to pass a value so how will we know if he has clicked the start value is one or something else we can save it in tiny db the another easy method is that putting the start value instead of saving it in tiny db we can put a start value so if it is one then in screen 2 we can get the start value by using this block get start value and we can store it in a variable and we can use the start value for example if the start value is 1 then it is level 1 so it should do for that we will use if conditions which we learnt in this tutorial if global name is equal to 1 which means the start value is 1 it is level 1 so it should do what all level 1 should be done in the game so we can use start value like that so now if they click button 2 then it, the start value is going to be 2 and in there we will put the if condition in which there will be else if if it is 2 then it will the level is level 2 so we can use this to make different levels and much much more you can also save it in tiny db as i said earlier but it takes a long time to do it so here we know get start value and next is close screen this is to close the screen if we close screen 1 the whole app will get closed then it will show a value result close application means the whole app will close 
and so now we know the control box so in the next tutorial we will learn the logic blocks and the math blocks thank you please subscribe to our channel and share this video goodbye